Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this video is a follow-up of the Amazon uh, new API. Um, this video I'm going to try to cover the updating inventory in Amazon via the new API. So what I have here is the same code as before, but I added a couple lines. I added this line at the top. That's the only thing I did that portion and added this uh, method here, which we're going to take a look now. It has only basic lines just needed for testing. Obviously, this is not ready for production. Just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. Uh, over here, you're going to need to have your DC ID. Each warehouse has an ID, so you need that value. Uh, that value comes from the in the PO and yeah, there's a property for that so that's where you can get it now the URL for this particular case that I'm using I'm using the direct fulfillment so I think other people are using different programs under Amazon so this will only work for direct fulfillment at least that's the only access I have but this is where your ID, DC ID is going to come in. This is going to be your resources when you post. And this is just the live URL, which is just the same one we were using before. And we're going to do a pose with that URL, your token. And here on this one, we're going to pause it when I run it. Obviously, this is not going to work because I don't have a valid token or DC ID by you, I'll show you what I mean. But this method is basically building the, the update, which is here. So uh, it's a couple classes just to make it uh, appear uh, as a valid JSON to Amazon. But you can see here, there's your ID for the selling party. And it's a full update that depends on you I just set it to false in this case and uh, you're gonna need a list of items in this case I only have one and uh, you need to have your buyer item your vendor item and is obsolete this case is false how many you have this is just a fake number and each in my case and then we're gonna attach it to this item when I run it, you'll see what I, what happens. But the class is over here. There's a bunch of classes here just to get it going. Um, it's under this folder, inventory model, uh, inventory details. So here's the kind of the layout for the file. Uh, this file, I believe it looks different because on this order uh, model, I'm using this attribute for the property here, but in this case, just to do a quick video, I just said, okay, let's name it as the JSON, the Amazon is expected, but you can change it to follow uh, this idea or this example. It's up to you. But to get it working or running it, we're going to run it and pause it here. Uh, obviously, this is missing. The, oh, the other thing I did was added the, the endpoint this property if not it, it's not gonna run this code anyways when you hit run and hit next this is the key part about this whole update for inventory and this is the format that you need to have in your JSON so far it has worked for me and it's, it's fine in my case but make sure this is your this is your minimum you need to have to update inventory so make sure that's the layout of your JSON. And obviously I can't continue to the next step because I don't have a token and I don't have a valid URL or a DC. But this is up to you. This is just an example to give you an idea, especially on the JSON. You can build your JSON in any way you feel more comfortable. But this is the main idea of this whole video. Make sure your JSON update uh, body in the post looks like this. At least the minimum.
Obviously, there's more properties you can add, but this is the minimum to update uh, inventory in Amazon. So um, hopefully this will help somebody or give an idea to somebody um, to build on your project. So hopefully this, um, like I said, will help somebody. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to find the answer. It's kind of hard to debug uh, someone else code when you don't have it and we don't have credentials, so it's kind of hard, but I'll do my best. Thank you for watching.